Hi, in this uh, lab activity, we will examine uh, a diabetic patient healthcare IoT solution. And the scenario, scenario uh, of this lab is uh, John Doe is a 55 years old Taiwan diabetic who lives alone. John has trouble keeping his glucose within a healthy range. He and his healthcare provider have decided to implement an IoT solution to continuously monitor important indicators of his condition and send help if necessary. John will wear a smartwatch to monitor his respiration and exercise level. This is John Hope and this is John's smartwatch. And John also use a continuous glucose monitor that will report his glucose levels. And all the data from the device will be sent to health monitoring company, HMC. We will send medical assistance should his condition become life-threatening. So this is the HMC with the two monitoring stations uh, to monitor the health of the patients uh, or uh, their client. And there is uh, two servers to store the data uh, of the patient, uh, the health data of the patients. And uh, this, uh, this center is designed uh, high availability with a connection to the ISP using the optical cable. And here is a cloud data storage services to, uh, uh, to store uh, the, the data of the patients online. Uh, and it is a MPTC, uh, the emergency car, uh, will be sent to Zone's home uh, in case of the, his life uh, threatening. And uh, it is a ISP, the ISP is closed not open it now firstly on part one we will configure devices for connectivity uh, uh, now uh, we will configure Jones router to use uh, DSCP to assign IP addresses to his IP enable devices in his home this John home and this is a home gateway the home gateway uh, will be the DHCP server and uh, provide the dynamic IP address for uh, smart devices on his home. Uh, for example, the uh, smart watch, the smart TV, and uh, the implanted glucose meter. So I click on the home gateway and on the config, uh, configure tab. Uh, uh, the GUI, the GUI tab. Then uh, we will assign the IP address on the this range, uh, this IP address for uh, the router IP. And uh, one. Uh, with the subnet mask. And then we enable the DHCP server service and click on uh, safe setting. Safe setting here. And now we can click on the smart TV and check for the IP address of this one uh, default wireless zero static and DHCP and so this didn't receive the appropriate or the right IP address so we should check uh, the DHCP again the start IP address, for example, 10. Maximum number of user, 10. Save setting. 
and then check the smart TV. I click on the static and BSCP. As you can see, the smart TV received the IP address from the home gateway and the smart watch configure wireless. Oh, okay. And the glucose matter configure wireless. Yeah, okay. It uh, already has the IP address provided by the DSCP server or the, the home gateway. And you can see the home gateway connect to the cable provider and from the cable provider it connected to the ISP through the Corsio cable. And drone tablet uh, using uh, the cellular uh, transmission to the ISP and uh, the smartphone also using uh, the cellular network uh, to connect to the ISP. Uh, 